What's up, Eclipse shooters, viewers, Eclipse people? My name is Mac Laskowski, and uh, I hope I have a, I think I have a, a very different video for you here, because if you're like me, you've been bombarded about Eclipse stuff, from shooting and gear and filters and settings and all that stuff. And guys, I've never even shot one. I'm the last person that's gonna give you any more information on that stuff. Where I thought I could help was the editing part of this. And if you're thinking, I haven't even shot it yet, why do I need to edit? I'm hoping you'll continue to watch this because when you look at a photo like this, this is a composite that we do in Photoshop and it involves some thought process ahead of time when you're shooting. So in addition to being technically prepared, which I'm, I'm figuring you know, most of you are, um, I'm hoping that you're also creatively preparing for what do you wanna do with the photo? What's your end result? What are you hoping to get from this? And then um, hopefully when you see some of the examples I'll show you in this video, it gives you some ideas so that you don't walk away and you don't maybe change lenses in the middle of the, the shoot or, or, or camera angles or whatnot. And then something that could prohibit you from maybe putting together one of these composites, okay? So uh, so here, I'm gonna do two things for you guys. And number one, I got, a, uh, I, got, I got this video, but I got a webcast I'm gonna do after. It's called Photo Makeover Live Eclipse Edition. And if you've never seen my Photo Makeover series, it's basically where I take your photos and I edit them. So you'll be able to submit, it's free. Uh, there's links in the description there. And if it's afterwards, there'll be a link to the replay, but you'll be able to submit. And then I'll be able to go through, I'm not gonna be able to get through all of them, but hopefully I can give you a good sampling of some of the stuff that we can do, all right? And then of course you got this video here. I encourage you to watch it. Maybe start to think a little bit creatively about what's, uh, what's coming up here. Um, as far as the editing, there, there's basically three types that I see, three types of photos I see. It's not limited, but three main ones. There's the totality shot, um, which is, you know, just the, the, the total coverage. Um, I'm not going to cover that here. I'll do that afterwards. And if you do shoot it, I hope you bracket it and maybe submit some of those. Cause there's some, there's some techniques we can do in addition to HDR to bring all those together. Um, and then you've got that composite where you get all the different phases. This is like the telephoto shot. You know, you're zoomed way in, there's really no environment. And then there's an environmental shot where you get the different phases. This is an illustration. Um, probably not gonna get that if you're shooting this in, in America because um, the sun's gonna be fairly high up in the sky. But I think creatively, I'm interested to see, I love what people do. And I think some people are gonna come out with some really interesting environmental shots of this as well. Okay, so uh, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna do a, a Lightroom Photoshop version and on one version and an affinity version. Again, all the, the, the links will be in the description there. So let's go ahead and dive into the computer part of this. All right, let's jump in and do some uh, some of the editing here inside of on one. And uh, so here's the deal. Uh, we've got our all of our different phases that we have here. And don't forget, you can download the files. Just uh, go, you go. There's a, a link to the uh, the web page in the description there. Um, you've got all your different phases here. So we got to do a little setup and on one first. So what we're going to do before we, we open a photo or anything, we're going to go over to uh, we're going to just um, come up here and just deselect. Um, in fact, let's just select none. All right, hop over here to layers. Everything's going to be blank. So what we want to do is just go file new. At this point, you would create a document that is the size that you roughly the size you think you're going to want to output. If you're not quite sure, it's not going to hurt you to just create it bigger. So, you know, what I would do here is just create something that's, you know, maybe, um, you know, 24 inches or let's just go 18 inches in width and um, and then let's just go 10 inches in height, all right? 300 pixels per inch. So it's gonna be a decent sized document. But what I'm looking for is I know, I know that in order to fit all of these different frames in, I know I need a wide document. So I'm kind of just taking a guess here that 18 by 10 will work. We can always crop it or change the size later. But we hit okay. Now we have this blank wide document, right? So now let's go back over to browse and on one's gonna say you have a file open, just click okay, it'll stay open. We go back to where we have all of our different phases of the eclipse here. So I click on the top one and then just go to the bottom and shift click on the bottom one. So now they're all selected, they're all targeted. If I click back over to layers, it's gonna say, are you sure you wanna work with these? Yes, I do. And then it's gonna say, you have a file open already do you want to add these photos as layers or open them as new photos? Well, I want to add them into the file I have open as layers. So I just click add as layer and that's going to bring me over to layers. It's basically going to stack them all on top of each other. So you can see there's one, 
two, three, four, all the way down the line. All right, so now I've got them all stacked on top of each other here. So our next trick is we want to be able to line these up, all right? So if I were to just go take my, my move tool as an example, if I were to just go take the move tool, move this over, all right, get it over here, um, hit apply, and then go to the layer right below it and start to move that over, see how it's getting hidden by the layer that's on top of it? So what I can do here, let me just go, I'm gonna undo, let's go back over to uh, don't apply. Um, I'm gonna go back over to that first layer here. And then I'm just going to change this blend mode from normal to screen. Okay. And screen, if you didn't know, hides black. So it leaves everything else on the layer. Now I would just take my move tool and move that over here. Okay. Hit apply. Now I go to that bottom layer. Well, before, remember how it got hidden? Well, now as I move it over, see, I can, I can still see it because that top layer right above it has changed to screen. So I can hit apply. And now I wanna change that layer to screen because now I'm gonna move the layer below it, layer number three. I'm gonna move that over and you get the idea. Now it just keeps going across the photo. So I just do that all the way across the photo. Um, you'll see a couple, I, I pulled up actually uh, a YouTube page here. I just did, a, or not a Google page here. I just did a Google search for solar eclipse photos and you could see, you know, different things that people do. There's a diagonal one. There's a straight one across. There's one going down. Um, if you scroll through here, you'll see, I think you'll see, you know, some of them kind of are curved. So um, there's a couple of different things you can do. You just take your move tool and literally just start, you know, offsetting them, moving them up or down if you wanted to. Um, some people will even go in and make them smaller as they get, like they'll keep the center one, you know, the totality shot they'll keep that big and then they'll make them smaller and smaller and smaller as it fades away from the center. So um, you could just do that with your, your scale setting uh, right there at the top. So there's a lot of different creative things that you can do with it. Um, let's go ahead, let's close this document and hop back over here. So the other one is more of an environmental type of shot. And by the way, don't forget, this is an illustration. It's, it's uh, if you look at it, there, this is not gonna happen next week because it's, uh, the sun is not gonna be that close to the horizon line when this happens. But the idea behind this is you're gonna set your camera down on the tripod, but you're pretty much not gonna move it. Where with the, the, the last shot, you're really just making a composite of all of the, the different phases there, but you're probably actually, you know, you're zoomed in, you're probably actually having to follow um, that, that sun across the sky a little bit. So you're actually gonna change your composition throughout. Hopefully you don't change your zoom. In this one, you're gonna leave your camera locked in on the tripod, all right? And you're just gonna take different versions all day long, different versions as the sun goes across the sky. So what you'll have is something similar to what I have here, okay? So let's just go back to uh, grid view, shift click to select all of them click on layers, it's going to say, do we want to work on all these? Yes, I do. And I'm going to choose add as layer, which it's going to do very similar to what it did before. It just stacks them all on top of each other. And then it's got to drag that top one up there. So now, now our job becomes about masking and it gets a little bit weird. This masking can get convoluted because if you think about it, I would have to add a mask to the top layer to then reveal the sun on the layer below it. Then on, when I go to that next layer, well, the top layer is still hiding everything. So now I got to go back and mask that. And I go back and mask the layer right below it. And now I now we'll see the third layer. And then I, every time I reveal one of reveal a layer, I've got to go up to multiple masks and change them. So here's a little trick for you. Follow along. It's a little bit weird in how it's done. But what we do is we change every layer's blend mode to difference. So go through your layers, change every single one of them to the difference blend mode. All right, so there we go. And there we go. And the last one, sure, why not? I don't think we have to, but why not? So now we're gonna go back up to the top layer. We are going to go and grab our, uh, our masking brush, okay? Let's go grab our, uh, our little masking brush over here. Hit the left bracket key, make it a little bit smaller. I don't need to have it that big. And what we're gonna do, we, we wanna paint out. So we're gonna go to the first layer, 
we're always going to paint out the sun one past that, right? So we're targeting the first layer and we're gonna add one to that, which is two. So we're gonna go to that sun and we're gonna paint that out and we're gonna paint it out all the way down the line. So watch, so paint, I'm painting out, painting out all the way down the line, all right? Now, I go to layer two, got my masking brush selected. So I go to the sun, that's one past that. So layer two plus one is three, so just count. One, two, three, and I paint again. And just paint past that, all right? Go to the layer below that, layer three. One, two, three, plus one. Remember, we're always adding one. Paint past that. Go to layer below that. Four, one, two, three, four, plus one, five. Get the idea. And go to layer below that. And just paint out that last one there. Looks weird. Let's go back through and change all of these back to normal. And as I do this, you are magically going to see everything lines up. So it really kept us from necessarily, you know, we could see all the versions of the sun and then we could go in there and mask them out without, again, if we did layer by layer and didn't do the, the blend mode thing, it just would have gotten a little confusing because we would always had to keep going back and layers below it are hidden. And so you're kind of painting blindly sometimes. So it sounds a little bit weird, but that blend mode trick really helps to, uh, to bring all these together. Folks, hopefully that gives you a, uh, a little bit of inspiration and some creative ideas and some things you can do. You can also download the files that I used in here as well. So if you wanna practice along and, uh, and regardless of when you're watching this, whether it's before the photo makeover eclipse edition and you wanna watch live or even submit your own photos for me to take a look at um, or afterwards, all those links will be down there in the description. So hope you'll check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.